as you can see, the car has the engine light on. So I would like to see what happened by uh, using the OBD link to check the port. So, take out the engine cover. I will show you where is the coolant bypass valve. Okay, here is the coolant bypass valve, and there is a blue color there. And there is a connector here, and you can push the tip to take out this one. And the passage, I have checked the passage. I believe the passage is like this, there is a hose. I think this hose is connected down here and then to this one. As you can see this one. There is a side hose. Uh, this is coming from the coolant pump. And the other passage one should be connected to the cylinder box to this side and then to this side I think it is connected to the heater coil I think so but I'm not sure if anybody can know the exact passage and you can let me know thank you to do this job what you need to use the tools is uh, the electric wrench, 7mm, type socket, the star socket, this is for the stretch gap and you have this one to open the clip, the circuit clip uh, for the hose and the new pass. At this time I, I just bought the, this is not the original one. And this one I get from Topo. And the part number is uh, BM5G18495. And this is the new parts. I think this one cannot last long, so I will buy uh, I will buy another one, the original part from Motorcraft. But it looks pretty good. I hope it can last a few months before I can change another one. And you need a pair of gloves because uh, the coolant is a uh, poison. And you cannot allow the coolant to touch your skin. This is an 8mm socket. I prepare a small socket, a shortened one, so that you can work on very tight space. Okay, and also the drain pan, like this. First of all, I need to push this pad and then take out this part from the coolant bypass valve. Push this one and then take out. Just like this. And then I use the 8mm socket to unscrew these two screws. And then now the cooling is dripping. Well, uh, after I unscrew the uh, engine column by Paswa. Okay, I've taken out the uh, Paswa. As you can see, the connection like this. And then I take out this quick using the pilot take out the hose. Okay, framing the using the pilot from the connector like this. And then because it is difficult to remove this one from the hose, the engine couldn't bypass one. So I use the tools to help me. Okay, as you can see this is the old one and this is the new one.
hands as you can see it looks like it's, I have a, a little bit clean it before I install the, my password then I'm going to refill the coolant uh, to make sure you use the original one don't use another brand this one I ordered from Taobao and it is uh, mixed up already, so I don't need to mix again. After you refill the current, you have to fit your cooling system. The purpose of fitting is to release all the air from inside the passage in your cooling system. And then also, I have to check any leaking. You have to let the system run until hot, and then you see if the uh, the coolant level drop. After the coolant level drop, you need to take a rest at least more than 10 minutes to allow the cooling system to cool down and then open the cap again and then fill until we repeat this process. And also you have to open the heater, the heater in your car so that the cooling, cooling can flow through your heater core. And then run to, according to the specification, the menu, you have to run to 2500 rotation per minute after you open your heater, heater and then repeat the process again to fit out all the air inside okay the moment of truth I'm going to see if the engine light yellow warning light can be turned off okay let's stop it up it's still here Let's wait for a moment. And also I'm going to use the computer. Hopefully this link MX first to see it. Just a moment. Okay. Cut inside. Okay, cut inside. And then I'm going to open the app. As you can see, the engine light turned off after I clear the trouble codes. Okay, now I'm going to check any coolant leaking outside. It's fine, no leaking. No dripping. I'm going to go with food in the back. 